Shalom and welcome to Souls on Fire. Franklin D. Roosevelt, in his first inaugural speech, spoke to a nation that was paralyzed in the grip of fear. Here, I bring you the line of his speech that freed the nation of fear's grip. Preeminently, the time to speak the truth frankly and boldly. Nor need we shrink from honestly facing conditions in our country today. This great nation will endure as it has endured, will revive and will prosper. So first of all, let me assert my firm belief that the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Nameless, unreasoning, unjustified terror, which paralyzes needed efforts to convert retreat into advance. So, sit back and stay tuned for Face Your Fears. This week's Torah portion is named after its opening commandment from God to Moses. Lord said to Moses, come to Pharaoh. However, besides the commandment of come to Pharaoh, we don't find any commandment of what Moses is to do when he comes to Pharaoh. Could it be that the entire commandment was just for Moses to face Pharaoh? Here is a clip from Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Professor Lublin is introducing the class at Hogwarts to a Bogart, and with it to one of the most important lessons that any wizard would ever have to learn. Sit back and watch. Intriguing, isn't it? Would anyone like to venture a guess as to what is inside? That's a bucket, that is. Very good, Mr. Tom. Now, can anybody tell me what a bogart looks like? No one knows. When she get here? Boggarts are shapeshifters. They take the shape of whatever a particular person fears the most. That's what makes them so... So terrifying, yes, yes, yes. Luckily, a very simple charm exists to repel a boggart. Let's practice it now. Uh, without wands, please. After me. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Very good. A little louder. Very clear. Listen. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. This class is ridiculous. Very good. Well, so much for the easy part. You see, the incantation alone is not enough. What really finishes a boggart is laughter. You need to force it to assume a shape you find truly amusing. Let me explain. Uh, Neville, will you join me, please? Come on, don't be shy. Come on. Come on. Hello? Neville, what frightens you most of all? <laughs> Sorry? Professor Snape. Professor Snape. <laughs> Frightens all. And I believe you live with your grandmother. Yes, but I don't want that boggart to turn into her either. No. It won't. I want you to picture her clothes, only her clothes, very clearly in your mind. She carries a red handbag. You don't need to hear. As long as you see it, we'll see it. Now, when I open that wardrobe, here's what I want you to do. Excuse me. Can you do that? Yes. Wand at the ready. One, two, three. Think, never think. Ridiculous! <laughs> One 
wonderful devil, wonderful, incredible. Okay, to the back devil. Everyone form a line. <coughs> I want everyone to picture the thing they fear the very most and turn it into something funny. Next, Ron. Concentrate, face of fear. Be brave. Wander the ready, Ron. Wander the ready. Ridiculous. Our sages teach us that in every generation, its leader would have to face an antagonist of his own strength and stature. Pharaoh, according to the Holy Zohar, comes from the great source of, and I quote, Mine Isparion, the word Isparion would be the source of the name Pharaoh. Mine isparion kol mine nehurim, from which comes forth all forms of light. Moses was not battling just with Pharaoh down here, king of the entire civilized world in his times. Rather, he was primarily fighting Pharaoh's source above. Our sages teach us that Moses was afraid of this powerful spiritual source of Pharaoh. This, then, is the commandment, come to Pharaoh, commanding Moses to face his fear. Only then, once Moses did face his fear, did God bring down Pharaoh's spiritual source before Moses. Thus, the commandment opening this week's Torah portion is telling Moses nothing more, no message to Pharaoh, no warning other than, Moses, face your fear. Then I will do the rest. This Shabbat, sit down in front of your own Bogart and face your fear. Often as the great Baal Shem Tov teaches, all it takes is to face your fear and identify it for what it is. And then we can, with humor, redefine our fears, removing them from our path to success. My friends, dare to be a soul on fire, connecting with your higher self. Thank you.